anything to stay up, a principle must sustain it. Yes, sir. Gravity is not only effective in the physical, it is effective in life. In other words, gravity works everywhere. Social systems experience gravity, just like physical objects. Governance goes down, education goes down. Everything that must go up must be held up. Standards are held up. Values are held up. If anything must stay up, it must be held up. That act of holding things up is called work. If your life must stay up, you must hold it up. Amen. Amen. Prophecies don't hold a life up. Prophecies set a target of what we should hold up. So the duty of self-improvement must be perpetuated. It must stay in perpetuity. So you don't happen up once and for all. It's continuous. I get them before the be property. Best student of last year. Okay? I used to be best student. Anything you don't keep up will not stay up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why am I saying this? Thank you. Babe. Why am I saying this? I'm saying it because if you are succeeding right now, it's blow. <laughs> Can you be clear? I'm not sure. So you can if you are seeing anything, succeeding anything in life now, there is room for improvement. The Bible says, through slothfulness, the building drops through. Can you bring that scripture up for me? Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 15, I think. Through slothfulness, the building drops through. If you leave this building without maintenance, things will start to drop. Yes, sir. You just notice that that place is the cracking, water is leaking, chemical is chemical, chemical is chemical. Anything, that's how relationships drop. They, you were doing well before. You know, some people, the last time they spoke to themselves was when they had uh, counseling. See, uh, the, the duty of staying in success is not for the slothful. It's not for the slothful. Do you know that? Even to stay healthy, you can't say I took my bath yesterday. I'm not doing my bath yesterday. Yes, sir. That's why I ate yesterday. Abi, you eat today. You eat for today. Everything requires constant updates, constant checkup, constant, you know, feeding. Don't just say the business was doing well yesterday. Is it doing well today? Even your faith, the Bible says, examine yourselves whether you are in the faith today. Have you seen that scripture before? Yes. Is there a scripture? No, we don't used to follow scripture. Okay, verse 15. It says, by much slothfulness, the building decays. Anything decay is by slothfulness. And through idleness of the hands, the house drop it. The hands are not busy. You, see, you will not know the value of staying here until nobody stays here. Mm. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Go to the place that is desolate. You will be surprised. Nah. There's a scripture I just quoted now. What was that? that I said I need to. So, take your feet. Oh, yeah, thank you. First Corinthians 13, verse 8. It's always good to see scriptures. Somebody sent me a message. He said, There are many times, sir, that when you quote the scriptures, I used to, I argue the outside Bible. <laughs> see what it says. See what it says. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Check yourself. Am I really in the faith? Am I really in the faith? Which is what we want to talk about today. You know, our topic for this month is new levels of patience. Yes, sir. New levels of patience through faith. 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 Yes. You must be interested in victory, sir. Yes, sir. You must be interested. Why? Number one, because we are really fighting invisible battles. Battles are real, and not all battles are physical. In fact, globally, 
invisible battles are ubiquitous, like they call it. In other words, everybody's going through it. Everybody, whether in Cameroon, Congo, Canada, Canada, whatever. Everybody's going through it. Big, small, everybody's going through battles. And there's such a thing called invisible battles. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, what kind of battle are you fighting now? Some people's battle is even physical. But everybody's fighting. And like I said on Sunday, scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. It says, fight the good fight of faith. Wonderful. Bible will officially tell you fight. I don't like fighting. Start. Start to like it now. I don't like fighting. Start to like it now. Fighting doesn't have to be physical. You don't have to like fighting to fight. You hear what I'm saying? You need to win. That's why you fight. You need to what? Win. Don't say that fighting is dangerous. There is an energy for staying up and successful. That's why some people that are dating, they have relationship has problem. Something. I think we're incompatible. You are a useless person. Mm. You must have a fighting spirit. Yes, sir. Then so I want to pack out. <laughs> you want to activate the boss so soon. Why? Because you are not ready to fight. Fight for your marriage. Yes, sir. Fight for your family. When they were building the walls there in the book of um, Ezra and Nehemiah, the Bible says that he told them, take up your spear. Give me that scripture. It should be Nehemiah chapter 5. It should be 5, if I'm not mistaken. He said, take up your spear and fight for your family. Fight for your children. Fight. While our Christianity is an invitation into peace, it is an invitation also into combat. Many people don't have the appetite to fight anymore. Mm. And it's what's in I don't like trouble. Though. I don't like nobody should like trouble. If you like trouble, trouble likes you. <laughs> so he said, fight the good fight of faith. I want to ask you, what are you fighting for? Some people are fighting for what they've lost. Fight the good fight of faith. Did you find that scripture? He said, fight for your husband, fight for your family. Uh-huh. Okay. Is this it, man? Uh -huh. Is this it? With the other hand. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. He said, they which build it on the wall, and they that bear burdens, with those that laid it, everyone with his, one of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held the weapon. Look at what the now says. Is this it? Next verse. It's uh, it's from 14. Eh? from 14, bar? Yes, sir. Okay. Because I know I've read it before in my Bible. Amen. So, I want to invite us to that conversation of fighting. And tonight, we'll be talking about fighting properly through faith and faith. I just want us to see, okay, before God, I say, And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, Be not ye afraid of them, nonsense people. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Lose your fears and stop yielding to the pressure of darkness. He says, What? And to the rulers and to the be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord which is great and terrible. And fight for your brethren, your sons, and your daughters, and your wives, and your houses. Yes. Fight. Fight. What is Satan trying to take from you? Fight. Fight. God fought for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God fought for us. You are not saying, ah, Satan has taken them. The world is lost. The world is a lost cause. That's why people never say, the world is a lost cause. <laughs> We've lost humanity. Oh. Oh. God. Oh. 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 Do you understand? Yes, sir. Ah, oh God, that's God. <laughs> oh me, oh me. But no, mm. he made a plan. Yes, sir. You would have thought he forgot. Mm. Two thousand years, not happened. Ashe was organizing things. Suddenly, one guy came through a virgin. Ha! He was not. He didn't forget. Some of you used to forget too easy. Mm. I'm coming for you. You wounded me. I'm coming back. And I'm coming to bruise your head. 
Do you guys know what I'm saying here? Yeah? Yes, have a fighter spirit. It's an excellent spirit. It's an A class spirit. It's an next class. We don't think that fighting is where it must be boxing. No. In fact, if you even look at it well, the Bible gives us a picture. It says, wrestle not against flesh and blood. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Tells us we are in wrestling. Now, if you don't say we are boxing against flesh and blood, or we are not boxing against flesh and blood, you would have told us, box, you know the rules of boxing is different. Yes. Boxing, you don't blow beyond the belt. If you lose, foul. In wrestling, anything goes. I can I'm use stick, push, yeah. use fan, anything. Because the objective of wrestling is to win. It's to win. Some of us, we are doing technical game for Satan. <laughs> then you now check. You are, you are joking. <laughs> now, even if you are not in a fight now, get ready for one. Mm. Be prepared to fight. Pastor White, I'm not the one that says you should fight. The Bible says you wrestle. You know, I mean, it's, 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 my mother has a portion of this picture. So, we wrestle nothing. It's already as you know. He's not trying to enlighten you that, look, you are not fighting flesh and blood, though. Mm. Even goes ahead to tell us that the weapons of our welfare. So as you stand outside there, you must know that there are people. Um, you, are, you, 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 you must stand. Yes, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. This move, and you don't know that the car was coming. That's you were a victim. I said the Bazoo spirit. Hmm. Yes, sir. I'm being honest with you, I'm true. The battles are not when you disappear and go to spiritual realm and fight. No. They come in physical flesh and blood. So it's bringing a caution to it. Anything that must stay up must be kept up. If you must stay alive, you must be alive. Hmm. Are you hearing what yes, I'm saying? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. So if it says that we rest not against flesh and blood, when do we rest? We'll be meeting flesh and blood, taking us our enemy. No. He's telling that though you are fighting, you are meeting flesh and blood, don't take them as your enemy. Don't, don't call me this my enemy. No, 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 no. no. You see, you are missing points. But it's also letting you know that the enemy will come through flesh and blood. That means you must have a, a higher dimension to the adversary. That though he's a human being, so there's something else guiding this one. So what's your relationship? It's not flesh and blood. That game is not the enemy. Your prayerlessness is your enemy. It's just using a way to distract you. Fight that way, so that you're lost. You are fighting the wrong enemy. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. Some of us, people are not asking you out, you are not seeing the things you want to see. Guess what? The fact is that there might be a veil that is an enemy. Maybe a spell. You know what spells are? An enchantment. Yes, sir. And the Bible gives us a cue. And there's no enchantment against yes, sir. No divination against the spell. Those things are there. They are looking for out to enchant you. You just don't know what is doing to be doing something nonsense. Mm. My dad used to use one very strong word. Amuti. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, I'm going to call you. No, are you okay? <laughs> when he wants to ask me, I'm going to call you. I don't know what. I have to research what I'm going to do. It's, it's, it's something that holds you bound and it's, it's keeping you spell bound. Whatever is holding anybody bound is keeping you bound. Amen! I speak as a sound of the name of the Lord. Talking of the I invoke the integrity of that liberty. Yes, the believe in the found in Christ, and I curse it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever it has been, wherever it is, I curse it to its roots now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm authorized to bless you. Yes, Anything standing in your way of being blessed today will take it away in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sit down. So we are engaging. Warfare. Hallelujah. Yes, Warfare. The Bible gives us a picture we wrestle not against flesh and all that you are wrestling. Yes, that you are not fighting it, they are fighting you. Mm. 
It's not a matter of we agree, we are round one, but they've started fighting before you came. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. <laughs> <laughs> now you watch, wait, like, let's be organized, let's be organized. Okay. As you have <laughs> from the range of you. The moment you decide to succeed in life, you're in battle. Mm. That's what I was telling you that there's systemic and there's demonic. You know, I, I tried to make it clear, sorry. Systemic is real, sir. Okay. Systemic is real. Some things are not deaf yet. I mean that. I mean that sincerely. Some things are not deaf yet. To give, to be fighting Satan. That's why I started last Sunday on the subject of your ignorance level. Mm -hmm. I said, before you rebuke them, yes, 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 sir. Yeah, because you can rebuke them and it's not happy. You think that the name of Joshua is not God. It's not, no, it's not like that. It's that you are rebuking things. Mm -hmm. rebuke, Jesus' name is not meeting any death. So it has nothing to cast out. It's meeting your ignorance. He doesn't let us say, Jesus, Jesus is echoing. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! Is there anything It's empty. Jesus! Nothing. It's empty. Remember Jesus Christ talking in Matthew 12. He said, when a devil is casted out, look at what he said. He said, he is left. Matthew 12, verse 23. He said, when he leaves, he checks out, and then he goes to the dry places of the earth. He said, if Jesus is talking, leave him. I want you to remind Jesus is not your mate. Uh -huh. I want you to put Jesus as the final authority. Is that true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, Jesus is not anybody. Anything anybody says, just, just so Jesus said it, leave it. I don't used to argue with Jesus. Anything red, the way my spirit opens to it is total. I don't even try to adjust it. You know what I'm trying to say? Because he's still only Iberato Piaye. He's the beginning and the end of this life. He knows what he's saying. He says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh, the spirit is walking. Higher. Through dry places. Where are dry places? At this moment, I'll tell you about dry places. So the spirit is going, seeking rest. And then he doesn't find any. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Is that you really listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that when you listen and you are curious about what his pastor saying? Listen with an open heart of mm. a child. Yes, sir. Yes, Don't sir. listen with an open heart of an adult. Mm. You might be thinking that you are listening. You are just listening to hear. Listen with the spirit of God. Mm. Are you listening to what yes, I'm saying? Yes, There's a heart that is calm and meek. Not the one that is uh, curious to just evaluate. Don't be evaluating what I'm telling you. Yes, like yes. I see, you are scrutinizing the thoughts. Honestly, open up your heart. The Bible says, let us therefore receive with meekness. Yes, sir. The engrafted yes, word of God that is able to change our minds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't think I'm just trying to... I'm not one of those preachers who... You should look well. I'm not one of those preachers. I'm a sense man to help humanity. Yes, Babe, I've known my purpose and I'm doing it. So don't when you come around, come with the heart of a true person who is really, truly interested in getting what the Spirit of God is saying. Yes, sir. Don't come and listen to see whether what pastor is preaching is false prophecy. I'm not part of that. I'm not I'm not in this deal for do, do you do you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So please listen with the right attitude. Yes, sir. It now says, then he said, the devil telling himself. I will return to where? My, my house. Openlenia is calling them somebody's life. Oh, yeah. My house. You know, we checked out of that place. So as far as it's concerned, that's still my house. I was just vacated. I'm going back. You see the demon? So that guy, while the devil is out, does not know that the devil is coming back. Mm -hmm. So um, how intelligent demons can be. From whence I came out. I just came out of it. He said, and when it is come, he findeth it empty. Wait, look at what he said. Swept and garnished. <laughs> Please, who is talking? Jesus. Who is he talking about? Demons. I'm free. I'm free. No more demon. No more demon. I have no more demon in me. You don't know the devil is still investigation. <laughs> he says he came to check. And he found the place. Who is talking? Jesus. Jesus. I want to know this is the person who say we cast out devil. <laughs> so, oh God, whatever Jesus said is final. Check my bed. Yes, sir. I, I hope we all agree on that. Yes, yes. He said, they, when he go, he go at he. Mm. And take care with himself, not demons of his level. 
Seven other spirits. I still we get the last level. No, but if we intentionally interpret the scripture, wickedness is not of the same level. You see, this spiritual illiteracy that is bedeviling Christians, we will not be victims forever. Amen. I speak as God's servant. Yes, and please hear me very well. Yes, sir. You see, they get seven other spirits more wicked than himself. Don't forget that the house of sweat. I can't hear that well. And then they enter in. Ask yourself, the spirit that is out, how does he enter in? Hmm. What's the door? How do they enter? You want to know? <laughs> look how they say it. Come with me. And they enter in and dwell there inside the human being. Yeah. Jesus now says, The problem with that is that the state of this guy is worse than before we cast it out of him. They would just have let that devil there. Je, 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 je. That first one. That first one. <laughs> <laughs> he said, even so shall it be. Also, unto this wicked generation, the same elements. Never leaves you the same. So, that the life of the Christian is an introduction of peace. Does not mean we should not be aware of warfare. Don't stay a clean Christian without being a solid one that is filled. Yeah. Don't stay a sweat Christian and garnished without loading up. Uh, <laughs> they are not playing over. That's why there are levels in this anointing. Just the same way there are levels in wickedness. There are some people's level of wickedness that is superior. And there are some people's level of anointing that is superior. There are some demons. You say, go out. They left. They come back again. Go out. They are not ready to go. What changed? They've no They They've fortified. Are you listening to what I said? Yes, sir. To be see, spiritually ignorant of these things is your, your loss. These demons go as far as following people sometimes and with the objective of just embarrassing them. You know the bad thing? People will just be running away from you. That this one, anytime he does this one, this is how it used to be. So anytime he does it, it's a trend. It becomes everything a spoil. Yes. Anytime, anytime he presses it, I've not seen people like that. Yes. They just press spoil. touch. Spoil. Bah. <laughs> 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 oh God. Bah. Bah. At their hand, to spoil. I don't know if you understand what I say. Put brand new here. Bah. You be thinking that you know, listen to me. Anything that has a pattern, repeated pattern, has a spirit sustaining it. So you want to be alert. Are we listening? Yes, sir. You want to be alert. Want to be alert. I'm very grateful for the birthday celebration yesterday. Praise God. <laughs> one of the things, one of the things that meant a lot to me was when I heard some of us articulate clearly what you have learned from me. Oh, it blessed me. I, you know, I pause, I rewind, I listen again. I don't just listen once. I pause, stop, rewind, hear it twice. They try. So, if you want to do it well, do a video. Those that wrote, you've done well, but you could do a video. I watch, I listen, I write. And the reason is because it, sometimes people just say, my pastor is a good man, but what has he done in your life? I like the articulation of clear things. He has taught us to love Jesus. He has taught us the scriptures. He has taught us how to relate with life. Making Christianity simpler. Having his words echo in my head to guide me directly. Yeah. 
This one I'm teaching you spiritual warfare. You hear me? So yes, sir. spiritual warfare. warfare. So you might have thought that the theme of this message or this theme of this month is you learn some victories. Already when you hear victories, because it's fights. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. So we are dealing with five parts before we now start to talk about the thing that you must know that there's fight. Any good thing, listen to me, any good thing that will make humanity better experiences a resistance from the system of this world. Yeah. Any good thing that will make humanity better. I've not said church. I've not said anything. Whether you are having a child, whether you are raising a family, whether you want to start a business, whether you want to get married, any good thing, any good thing, I repeat, that has the interest of humanity already automatically engages the opposition of the system. Now, notice, I didn't say the devil. System. There is a system in this world. That system has loopholes that we can take advantage of. But it exists. That system ex, 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 I mean, ex, um, um, pre presents itself in the activities of man or humanity. So, for example, there is what we call the health system. Am I correct? Yes, yes. yes the health system. You have probably some places you have a card. You present the card, the health system comes to you, you they, they treat you, they say, Where do you, you want? You know, everything that they Some places they don't have that card. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Some people that depend on what, like I was saying, that look like a joke, but. Some people conduct surgery with touch lights. It's true. It's true. In another place, I, I went to see um, one of our daughters abroad who was not feeling fine. When I entered the hospital, first of all, the hospital felt like a hotel. <laughs> I don't even understand. Right so, <laughs> when you are thinking that ah, it's not a black place still, you know something. It's not that bad. Look. No matter the beauty of the hospital, may you not be lodged there. Yeah. Yeah. Except for child back to never be impressed with the beauty of an hospital. See, the hospital is five star. What's your business? <laughs> <laughs> when hospital say ah, hospital. <laughs> <laughs> for hospital to do that, what do you Do you know what that means? That is when the world will see you. Don't don't celebrate it too. Don't celebrate it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So, of course, you have dates when you know that the sickness starts 24th of every month. I reverse it in the name of Amen. Amen. Don't justify any sickness. I'm not saying they don't exist. I never said so. But your faith will conquer. Amen. I said your faith will conquer. Amen. Your faith will conquer. Amen. Amen. Say that even like you know you are acting in your sense. To live intentionally. Hmm? So let's look at it very well. There are systems, and this is so important because I want you to see how that the Bible speaks about these things, but in a parable way. There are systems. You're going out. Last one just going like this. Just going like this. System is fighting you. Hmm. Alright? Now that can do two things to you. Can either make you feel like a victim or can make you be conscious of your victory. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. There are things that Jesus has given to us. For example, the victory on the cross has given to us every kind of spiritual victory we never had. He has given us, once it is demonic or spiritual, we have won. The challenge most times is in the system. Did you hear what I just said? Because you can't be using Jesus' name to rebuke systemic problems. What are systemic problems? Education system. Yes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name, it will not change the system like that. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Yes, <laughs> um, give me another system. Legal. Eh? Legal. Legal system. It won't just happen like that. They just say, my command, like, I'm a pastor. Your guy to answer you. It's <laughs> demons you can rebuke like that. You can't and rejoin. In the name of Joshua, I curse you. Okay, he will arrest you. He will jail you, and you will not come out of that jail until he's tired. Yeah. 
and you will see injustice koro koro and you won't be able to do anything about it koro koro they will carry you god of men oh it's but that's it they will carry and you will say this is wrong this is wrong and that this is wrong this is wrong i will report you you can't go far with it So how do we win? How do we win all these things? I, I get what I'm trying to say. Yes, sir. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Education system, the lecture say you will not graduate. And true, true, you will not graduate. You will not believe a man. You say there's nothing any man can do. If you don't understand how to win, you will lose. Because if you look like God is not the first report. And that man is unfortunately because of the injustice of life, nothing will happen to the man. And he's not directly. Because I realized that the justice system of God has a space of time in such a way that you can disconnect the action from the consequence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And just like the word of God. Sometimes when God is rewarding you by faithfulness, we'll come to that very soon. When God is rewarding your faithfulness, you might forget that it's because of what you have done that you're getting. Yes, sir. Yes, that sir. That is God. He doesn't, you don't determine, it is faith that can determine timing. Mm. Faithfulness can't. Faithfulness can't even determine what will reward you. We are coming to that. Do you get what I just said? Yes, sir. Faith says, I want camera. Faithfulness says, take camera. Mm. I don't know. Do you get what I said? Faithfulness look, faith locates what it wants. Faithfulness is what out of your faithfulness. God says, take this one from what I think I want. Yes, sir. Take. You can't control the reward of faithfulness. Mm. But you can control the reward of faith. Yes, sir. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm trying right to teach you because this life is not as simple as that. Too. That's why a lot of pastors and people fail in life and it looks like as if what we are teaching is not effective. Mm. They are not studious. If you study, you will see someone. Even me that I'm talking, I've not finished studying. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I've seen many. But I don't trust. Yes, yes, yes. I can tell you I don't yes, trust. Yes. I've, seen, I've seen the loopholes. Okay, please, if you have questions, write it down because I will stop and I'll take questions. Mm. Mm? Yes, sir. Ask, okay. And I want you to be intelligent about the questions. I will know an intelligent question is in the application of the knowledge. So, we're speaking about victories, and I said there are invisible battles. There are battles, and then I said there are invisible battles. And I said that the battles of life are either demonic or systemic. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And I said the demonic problems, we already have the victory over the powers of darkness. He said, Behold, I give you power over all the powers of the devil. I, 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 I give you, behold, I, how did you say that scripture now? Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and over all the powers of the enemy. I mean, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Look to the 10, verse 19. Yes, sir. I think so. You know, it says, Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Yeah, I think so. That should be scripture. Look 10, 19. So, what I'm trying to say by that is that there, is, there are demonic um, powers and all of that, when they control, they sometimes can possess people, and sometimes they, especially, please listen to this, please listen, I speak by the Spirit of God. I see that this is very true. There are two major areas where the enemy sits on demonically. One is the finances, second is on the health. So the devil sits on the finances of people. That's why I keep telling you that rebuke his hand over your finances. Rebuke his hand. Be, be cause, cause the devil over your finances. Cause his activities. Tell him to take his hand off your finances. Are you listening to what I'm yes, saying? Sir. And number two, over your health. Now, not all sicknesses are caused by Satan or by the devil. But I can assure you that he sponsors every opening there. For example, on the subject of health, if you are dirty, you can be sick. A dirty person. Likely that you will be ill. If you drink dirty water, your tummy can hurt you. Are, are we talking sense? Yes, sir. If um, if you expose yourself to a wrong environment and, and you get beaten, you can suffer some. Do you get what I'm trying yes, to say? Sir. There are a lot of things that can happen to you that can make one ill. Genetically, also, you can inherit some things like doctors will yes, say. Yes, so, there are a lot of things attached to that. And that's why sometimes you must know how to disconnect from some family mm -hmm. things, some trends. Yeah, that's demonic. But systemic is something I want to speak to. And I'm trying to repeat again that they are invisible battles. I've heard some people just say, ah, rebuke them. We cause out the past. I tell you that these devils, once it's a demonic problem, it will come back. 
Did you hear what I just said? It will come. It's not me that said it. It's Jesus. Let's learn. Once it's demonic, they don't die. Yes, Satan is not allowed to die now. I rebuke you to the abyss and say you should never come as a lie. It's only God that can give that banishment order. <laughs> and he has not. <laughs> when Jesus was around, he never banished him. And the only reason why God will allow Satan to still be alive and around walking in town is because he knows you can deal with him. Mm. Mm. So he did not leave you with an unequal match of a stronger devil than your spirit. Ooh. It's your duty to know your right. That's why it says rebuke him steadfastly in the faith. Do you remember that scripture that I'm saying here? So look how it says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on servants and stomach and over the power of the enemy. So there's the enemy. He said, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So we have power over the enemy. Are you getting what I'm trying to say here? Yes, but that enemy is the devil. The Bible tells us that scripture, first Peter. He says that, uh, rebuke him steadfastly in the faith. He said, for the devil, the adversary. There's a specific adversary. It's not the deputy. Satan is our adversary. He could walk through other agencies, but he's your adversary. Satan doesn't delegate your battles to somebody. He's your he's sponsoring your his attack against you. Mm. He's the one. He's not delegating. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the reason is because there's a spirit that works in demons, so to say. It's the spirit of rebellion. So without Satan being there, they do his will like he was the one there. You guys know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, it's like angels do the will of God without being without it being God. Yes. Uh, see, be sober, be vigilant. See this, see this language said. Be sober, be vigilant. Shut your eye. Before I listen, worry by me. Dear eye. Open eye. Because your adversary. Maybe you thought it was about the boy's adversary. No. Your adversary. The devil. As a roaring lion. Walketh about. Seeking whom. He, he will not devour you. Amen. I want to say one more time. I said he will not devour you. Amen. The third time I said it will not, he will not devour you. Amen. So that means when the warfare. Are we see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Oh, wait. A lot of evidence are produced, evidence that we're in a battle, yes. and that this battle can be invisible. Yes, yeah. Anytime you see physical battles or God, let's, let me just tell you something. It's just the devil trying to walk through somebody to get to. Okay. Then also, I said there are systemic and systemic. So, what do we do? The faith angle is what I want to bring out now, and then I will close finally this teaching with the new levels of victory. Mm. I'm speaking about victory generally now. And I'm talking about victory through faith and faithfulness. And I've highlighted that battles are real when the battle, if you are not sleeping, you know, say in Jesus' name, Jesus Jesus name. Say, I receive grace. I receive I grace. grace. I shall not sleep. I shall not sleep. I shall be taught. I shall be taught. The word of the Lord. The word, word of the Lord. Lord. Say like, though you believe me now. Say, I shall be taught. I shall be taught. Okay, let me just tell you something. It's a good thing to know that I speak to you as a father. Yes, sir. But my words to you can be rebellion if you are not a child. Mm. Mm. So I'm talking, you can be listening with an attitude of, is it, uh, do I want to talk, do I want to say this? No, I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. So if you see me joking, don't think I'm joking. Don't think I'm in the flesh. I'm not in the flesh. I'm spirit. Uh-huh. So while I might be doing it, just take it that you are in a spiritual journey. Mm. All right? Yes, sir. Don't, don't think I'm, I'm even if I'm playing, if what I'm seeing is beneficial to you, take it seriously. Show you here. Yes, sir. I believe that you will have the mind of God. So say it again, say I receive grace. I receive over grace over all the powers of the enemy. Over all the powers of the enemy. Say nothing shall by enemies hurt me. Nothing, nothing shall by enemies hurt me. Say the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Christ. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. From the crown of my head. From, from the crown of my head. Man. Oh, my man. Man. Say, all 
that concerns me. All that concerns me is sanctified. Is sanctified. sanctified. Forged. Forged. Purified. Purified. And set apart. And set apart. By the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. Say it with you, amen. Amen. So, we are taking this journey further by looking at how that God wants us to win by faith. Faith. That's John 5, 4. He says, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world system. It not say overcomes the devil. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know, I keep saying that no difference between devil and system. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you can mix everything up in your sincerity and get it wrong. Look at what happens to a lot of us Nigerians. When we travel abroad, you know that we, we ace our house. What happened? What happened? Say, thank you, ma'am. Have you said it? The system. The, the, the system in Nigeria makes you feel like you're not brilliant enough. Yes. Mm-hmm. You get a problem. You want that? Is it different too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This week, you would have been a professor. You know, he used to experiment in You can just pick him now. That's what you say. This one is blue. This one is red. You don't experiment. It, the system abroad encourages such behavior. Yes. Here, they say you are you are over over the basic genuine behavior bank Yes. What am I trying to see? There is a system. Please look at that scripture. Sit down. But do you guys get what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. I use even electrical system. You know, I was saying the other yes, day. Yes. Electrical system is different. Some places is 110 volts. That's even their socket is different. Mm, yes. 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 Uh-huh. yes. Yes. Their plug socket is different. So you have to understand this system thing I'm saying. It's, 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 they, call, they call it systems thinking. For example, you know some people when they eat now, they just believe that the mouth is the way to the food. You know what's eat food into your mouth? Many things happen. Yes. Hiya. Yeah. Saliva must pick it up. Am I correct? Yes. yes. It must pass through somewhere, somewhere there. It goes through the kidney core, kidney core, kidney core, kidney core system. And then it goes out here. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? It's systemic. You need to not just think about the first step. Yes. Think about the system yes. and the out products. Yes. Some of us, you chop, I chop. I chop, you chop. You keep swallowing, <laughs> swallowing, 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 swallowing. You understand? Know Ish. I don't know what is wrong with you lying. You are lying. You are lying. You are lying. You know what you eat. You know what you eat. <laughs> because you are not thinking systemic. So you can't even look. Mango. My mango. I got more. Put smoke right. So I'm supposed to have this sort. He said, You are my man. The system says, I don't want. You now for me to. Do you know that your body? Has a health code. Yes. You should study your body system. My system doesn't go very well. It's for Capola and Fanta. You should know. If I eat yam, I will toilet. You should know that I don't do well with vegetables. Don't let hunger reprogram your <laughs> because of the fear of the future. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's deal with this matter. What we're talking about today. So the Bible says, "What's so, let's read it together." You know, my Are we getting blessed? Yes, yes sir. sir. He said, "For whatsoever, let's read it together." Everybody. One, two, go. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Let's ask you a question. Do you think this scripture could not have said the devil if it was the devil's addressing? So the devil, the world system, cosmopolitan, the cosmos. This word here is used. It's the same word for God so loved the world. That world that God loves is this world that the Bible says that we are overcoming now. 
Now, there's a major word used. It's called cosmos. Everybody say cosmos. Cosmos, cosmos is C-O-S-M-O-S, -S, okay? Cosmos. And what that means is where you get cosmopolitan. What does cosmos mean? Google it. Let's Google cosmos. Let's check Google. What does cosmos mean? Cosmos, let's just find out, find out on the spot. Cosmos, what does it mean? Anybody? So, because the this word, uh huh, ma, the eh? universe seen as a well ordered whole. The universe seen as a well ordered whole. Whole, the universe seen as a well ordered whole, as a whole system. Vast, system. 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 Orderly harmonious space. space. You see that it's not safe time. Right? Mm -hmm. eh? Governed by rules. Are we together? Yes, yes, sir. I'm trying to just justify or prove to you, or at least put it to you, that the world referred to here is not the devil. Because they just say, ah, everything in the world is the devil. It's not true. When God was praying, Jesus was praying for us, said, Lord, I pray that you keep them in this world and keep them. I'm not saying you should take them from this world, but you should help them stay in it. Mm. Did you see that scripture? Yes. So, there's such a thing called the world. So, there's this thing called the world. And it says, overcomes the world. That means the world is in battle with us. Mm. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say? This is why I said it's not the devil. This one is system. Systemic That's my theory. You know, as research, you know, knowledge was is a continuum. Mm. You must keep giving room for more learning. Otherwise, if you think all that has can be known is all that is known, there is no point living again. Mm -hmm. It's because life can still open up. Is why we are still learning. So he says, overcome the world. And so he says, the child that is born of God overcomes the world. Say, I overcome the world. I overcome the world. Can you check other translations for us? Okay. Yes. Yes, why? For cosmos. Say, I read. Why are you checking other translations for us? The Bible uses the word cosmos as man's system of God. Man's system. I think this is the. You see that? Economics. Religion. Chamber. Education. God bless. Culture. God bless. BTC. Yes. Established apart from the Creator of God. God bless you. Mm. Yeah, you see that like, it's not I'm just just throwing theory up and down. But no, I've studied it too. Uh -huh. I like that your definition is a little more holistic. Where did you get your own from? From Google also. What is cosmos in the Bible? Aha. What is cosmos? So everybody you have Google. What is cosmos in the Bible? So you can have the answer to that question. Alright? Yes, Are we learning something too? Oh, yes, sir. So culture is systemic. Marriage. All those things, this system, it's not God, it's not them. It's the way man has agreed to live. For example, now when you are driving, you must realize that you are not the only person that is using the road. Yes, sir. Don't be getting that. Why are you getting now? You are not the only person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. What will happen to me a lot is that just when you thought you wanted to do something, someone else is trying to do the same thing to you. It's like that. You're not the only user. You're not the only user. Just like ideas. When you are still thinking, should I use it? Should I not? Someone has used the idea and gone. Try registering your idea now. You see that somebody has used your idea. So, what are we saying? Look how this is. Every begotten person conquers the world's ways. Not devil. Please, I guess this is what I'm yes, saying. Sir. Now, the Bible tells us that there are three things in this world. Are you listening? The concrete power that brings the world to its knees is our faith. So, the way to monitor this world and champion it is your business. Eh? Any field of play where you want to step into, be it business, marriage, or anything, if you don't understand this thing, they will champion you. <laughs> and it's not devil yet. Yes. For whatever is born of God is victorious. Somebody say victorious. Victorious! <laughs> Over the world, it's always pointing it to the world, not the devil. Mm. Are you guys getting what I'm trying to yes. say? Yes. And this is the victory that conquers the world, even our faith. So that means that in this world, without necessarily being loyal to Satan, people can succeed. Yes, mm -hmm. This is what I'm telling yes, you. Yes, yes. 
But the thing is that this is the system. But the thing is that that system is such that they are, they are victims of the system. What the scripture is now telling us is that we, we are born of God. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. That while we are succeeding, we must understand that our job is not just to succeed by the system of the world, but to beat it to its knees. And why? What are we beating to his knees? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. First John 2, verse 13 to 15. First John 2, verse 13 to 15. I'm teaching what you Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John 2, verse 13 to 15. Okay. Let's read. Can we try? Can we try? From verse, uh, okay, which one? Let's read Amplified Classic. So, all right. Or which one? Yes, Amplified Classic always captures it. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you have come to know, recognize, and be aware of and understand him who has existed from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have been victorious over the wicked one. Did you see that? Yes, sir. Someone say amen to that. Amen. amen. I write to you boys, lads, young men, because you have come to know, recognize, and be aware of the Father. Are you seeing what he's saying here? Yes, that means the awareness of the Father is important. Yes, sir. He's saying that you need to be aware that you have a Father. He now says, verse next, I write to you fathers because you have come to know, recognize, be conscious of and understand who has existed from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and vigorous, and the word of God is always abiding in you, in your hearts, and you have been victorious over the wicked world. Verse 15, please. Do not love or cherish the world. Why? Because the world can make you really love it. Mm. Oga? Ah? <laughs> oh, but this life is beauty. Ice cream is a world thing. If you, I don't believe anyone should come to study this ice cream. If it's already that ice cream, gelatin, you should not. I don't. I, I do that. This dance has seen how. Oh, I like this beauty. So, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, you see, you like ice cream. How can you resist a cow egg? So, or shaky or viral. Can you resist soft do do? <laughs> See what it says, what it says. He now says, do not love the world, love or cherish the world, or the things that are in the world. Or that there are things in this water. Yes, Maru, don't deceive yourself. Who's yours is beautiful? Yes, okay. Don't deceive yourself. Life is beautiful, sir. Ah. Business class, last time, is a good thing. Ah. You will not stop. Do you know? Do you know? I was, I was, my last trip, when we were waiting for transit, I took shower everywhere. Hey. The same airport as well as it. <laughs> 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 then they now give me a room. They said the room is a thinking room. Ah. Oh, we we'll just sat down there. We are just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we thinking? <laughs> <laughs> and I sat down just to go and say, this is this like? Do you know the funny thing? It was in the same airport. But if you don't know it, you don't no. know. It won't let you in. You will not be seeing restricted area. 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 You know, if someone say, ah, Pastor, don't go that close. Do you know that God is not God's name? Yes, sir. God is not God's name. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes. Oh, that's why people are praying, oh, God, we hear you. Which of the gods are you praying to? Oh, yeah. Because there are plenty. Yes, sir. Amy, God, God. He says, pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. people, oh, God, our God. No worries. They're not ready for prayer. <laughs> <laughs> 
prepared, but politically correct, yes. I don't like to disrupt you. Mm. Say in Jesus' name. Mm. Hey, you never, you don't say so. Hey. He says, do not love or cherish the world. Why is he telling you? Because almost a tendency to. My dad grew up. Hallelujah! Are we together? Yes. Yes. You see, all the things that are in the world, mm. please tell me some things that you know are in the world. Mm. Sir, don't deceive yourself. There are some things in this world. Even as an adult, we're in Dubai, and then that's why I see, uh, see, I see that uh, there's a river inside of me that is a good gentle. He was in Dubai, <laughs> Atlantic, <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I I not be lying, not be lying now. He was in Dubai. I had to go for my that doctorate program I went for. So I left. Him. Next day, told me I was on to stand. Came to enjoy his life. Ask my man. They were gone. They were. You know, and Aaron, Aaron, Aaron likes his song. He more like they also. He was singing and he, he greeted. What I'm not trying to say is that don't deceive yourself, sir. There's something different. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Satan to Jesus, Jesus, our oh, Jesus. I took him to the pillar of the earth. I said, look at the glory of this oh, world. Ah, <laughs> 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 just <laughs> over <laughs> that time, oh, ancient time, where there's it's like castles, all these castles, oh, there's no skyscraper. He said, I will give you the glory. Ah! Jesus had to say, said, rebuke me, Jesus did. That's what Jesus did. Christ says he rebuked him that we shall not worship any other person. Is that what Jesus did? Yes, sir. Oh God, there's something in this world, sir. <laughs> that world is what God loved. You say you hate it. The Bible says God loved the world. He sent someone to go and die to redeem it. There's something inside this world. No, the other side of Yes, sir. You taste this world. Yes. Yes. It's a good thing. That's why you are here. There's no better. You just have been in spirit if you don't want anything in the world. But the Bible says don't love it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, Don't get emotionally dependent or attached to it. Yes, you see, I'm trying to show you the balance so that you don't think we're saying, no, anything, just the spirit, okay? There's something in this world. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He's not telling you, don't love it. Don't be emotionally cherished by it. Don't, don't let it be something that you hold on to like your life depends on it. Mm. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That you can drop it like hot potatoes if you have to. Yes, sir. That's only possible if you are not emotionally attached. Yes. Yes. It says, if anyone loves the world, he says, the love, the world, love for the Father is not in him. What he's saying is that you cannot love the world and the Father simultaneously. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, yes sir. So look at the next verse. Bring it up. Verse 16. He said, for all that is in the world, he's summarizing it. The world has three major things. Major things. Number one, lust of the flesh, craving for sensual gratification. Number two, the lust of the eyes, greedy what? Longings of the mind. Are you seeing it? Summarizing it to the three things. And it says, and what the word was? The pride of life. These are the three things in this life. Listen to me. If you can conquer these three, you have conquered the world. But you can only do that by faith. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm oh, yeah. teaching good tonight. Yes, sir. And the price, it says assurance in one's oh, own resources. Oh, yeah. ah, not in danger. I hold my side. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Exactly. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. You know, but you know something? Yes, Listen to the conversations from now. Oh, no problem. No, 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 no. It's not an issue. You just hate no problem. When Malachi is existed, you see, there are some things that money just money just cancels. Money is a powerful tool. The only thing that contends for worship with God is money. The only thing. Eh? Not even the devil is not such an equation now. Yes. Death. Open more right now. It's not the equation. The world system. That's what he gave to chance Adam from now. Hmm. This world, this world, this earth. Look at it. The three things. He said, assurance in one's own resources and in the stability of everything. Ah, we 
Well, I hold my side. Yeah. I have fixed deposits. <laughs> <laughs> Are you see what I'm teaching? Yes, sir. So you must master it. You cannot listen to me. The world, therefore, can give you these things. That's what just let's say. What shall he from the man? Hmm. Complete it. Yeah, it is. Is. Oh, oh, it is. So if you don't have mastery over these things, you will lose your soul. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, there is a way to get these things at the expense of your soul. And the also, and the also, and the also, you get everything, your soul is gone. I am telling you! Sir. Sir. But there's also a way to get these things that God gives. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And that one that God gives to you is by his faithfulness. That's your faithfulness as a reward of your faithfulness. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The one that you point and kill is your faith. So in this world, there are things we need. I need a good family. <laughs> I pointed to kids. Who is a good wife? God give me good, good children, all those things. It's not by the, you will know that it's not by the workings of your own hand. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You will know that you cannot put yourself in the equation of how those things came about. That's how we conquer the world, our faith. Otherwise, greed will suck you in. Avarice will suck you in. Lost of money will suck you in. Lost of the flesh will suck you in. That's why some people are chasing it. And God says, don't chase what others chase. It will capture you down. I want to blow. I want to blow. You will just explode. It doesn't work like that. Are you listening? Yes, sir. So, look at something, for example, the subject of a good family, which is what almost everybody that has social balance is looking for. I want a good family. I want a husband like Bishop. Very nice, very soft spoken, very solid, very erudite, very wow, 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 wow. <laughs> You want a wife like Mama? Mama, very ebullient, very succulent, very beautiful. It's by faith. It's by faith. Everybody say by faith. By by faith. faith. You know that one is not that devil is fighting you. Yes, sir. I listen to what I'm saying. Yes, sir. But you know, this type of matter I'm speaking about concerning this marriage thing is not only faith that gives you the victory of a good home, it's also faithfulness. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. You see, you can, I said on something, you can secure something by faith. It takes wisdom to sustain it. Mm. That wisdom, one of it is faithfulness. Mm. Faithfulness, therefore, is a wisdom of God that can be weaponized in securing the pleasures of this world. Mm. There are some battles you won't fight if you are faithful. Fetch that scripture for me. A faithful man shall abound with blessing. I think Proverbs 28 says, A faithful man shall abound with blessing. A faithful man shall abound with blessing. There's such a thing called the blessings of the faithful. Just by being faithful, see what it says. Take a look at it. Are you there? Is that what? See what it says. A faithful man. Faithfulness is a weapon for abounding in blessings. For comparing poverty, a faithful man, we can trust you. God can depend on you. God doesn't promote what he doesn't trust. He is going to, he is going to test you. God for me to say, don't worry. Don't worry. Look for somebody else. So I'm speaking about victory through faith and faithfulness. Now, now, as I'm talking, I'm talking about faithfulness. Do you understand what you're yes, So that you don't get confused. I'm speaking about faith, I'm talking about faith, I'm talking about faith, I'm talking about faithfulness. Now I'm talking about faithfulness. Faithfulness is that sense of dependence that a man possesses in the things of God. Yes, I'm not talking about character integrity. It includes it, but we are speaking faithfulness is a kingdom language. Faithfulness. Are you faithful? Can you be depended upon? Mm. Can you be trusted in the things that matter? Mm. Faithfulness. Can you serve others? 
Uh, because you can be pride, uh, proud about, I, I know I know how to arrange my shoe on time, I know how to tie my shoelace. Can you tie the shoelace of another person? Can you serve? That word is the language of a servant. First Corinthians 4 verse 2. He says that it is required of stewards to be found faithful. faithful. Bring it up for me, Val. Is it a first or second? Please double check it. We'll come back to the scriptures. All the scriptures keep them because I want to speak about faithfulness and then we'll close. Ah, it's in time. I think we need to we need to go for conference somewhere, Ba. I need to teach and teach that we are not under pressure of time. Yes, you know, just sit down with the class of this one. Like you can't meet him. Yes, sir. Yes, this is too often. Now, you're not you have food around you, so I will break and eat, and then come back and cook it, and then you can, I think we need to do something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, So, he says, moreover, it's essentially required of stewards that a man should be found faithful, proving himself worthy of trust. Hmm. Oh, yes. Look, let me tell you something. I, I might not be able to say everything absolutely, uh, uh, but God can trust this man in some things. Mm. I can promise you that. If God listen. Eh? You need a man, Lord. Why are you doing like this? I'm here for you, Lord. That I'm tired. Tiredness will not make me do the work. When I was dying, I was doing it. When I had nothing, I was doing it. No, no, that's why I said I can't be proud. Forget it. When they say, your pastor is shaking, oh God, I'm not part of them. There might be people that are confused. I've not been suffering and suffered in this life. <laughs> you know? yeah? I'm telling you, sir, a man that is proving himself worthy of trust. Worthy of trust. Worthy of trust. Stable. Stable, not erratic. Not uh, it's, uh, it's the way he's doing me. I don't like the way he did it. Oh God, it has something to do with another person. It's an internal function. Stop externalizing your blame. Yes, sir. Take responsibility. Yes, sir. Worthy of trust. Let me tell you And these kingdom things we are doing, these church things we are doing, they are the basic elements that God uses to measure us. How we respond to this thing. How we come faithful. How we put him first. How we build you understand all those simple things. And it says a steward is required of stewards that a man be found faithful, proving himself. Not that a man should be even having faith. This is not about faith. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. yes. And in due season, the Bible says he will reward you. The faithful shall abound with blessing. The faith, some of us, we can't trust you to walk. Even for God, you are not ready to walk. You only just receive that life. God, you're not coming to walk. I'm walking. I will listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. So you want to take your time out to be faithful. Make a decision. You know what the good thing about it? The faithful man might not have faith to buy a car, but God will give you. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say. You might not even have, you don't even know what exactly, you are not the one asking for it. You still want to come and say, Master, give me a car. Nobody does that. Then the master looks at you and says, This guy needs a car. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. He knows what you need. He knows what you need that you don't know you need. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh. He knows that I your wife wants to do malady of the mind very soon. He starts to correct her in the dream. You should leave this home and kill. God? God? <laughs> <laughs> See what happened to Abraham. Abraham lied about his wife and said she was his sister. Gave the sister to Abimelech. The Bible says God appeared to the king and said, but you are a dead man tonight. <laughs> he said, no, I do not know now. No. He said, it's because you don't know about kings. Hey. Read it now, Genesis. He said, it's because you did not know, I have not yet killed you. He said, now what should we do? He said, you carry load his wife back to him. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So that's why I want to invite you to a stable, faithful life. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Check Asari Kani. Let's look at it now. Then God came to Abimelech in the night, in the dream by night. Ah, uh-huh. which one are you doing now? You are correct now. Okay. Okay. You are ready from him. Okay. 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 So this, you know the story. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Genesis 12. And behold, you are a dead man. Because of the woman you have taken as your own wife. As for you, as your own. For she is a man's wife. Look at the next time. And Abimelech had 
Abimelech had not come near her. So he said, Lord, will I will you slay a people who are just and innocent? Look at the he said, Did not the man tell me she is my sister? And she herself said he is my brother. In the technique of heart and innocence of heart. I have heard this. Then God said to him in the dream, Yes, I know you did this in the integrity of your heart. God. For it was it was I who kept you back and scared you from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not give you occasion to touch her. See what he says. <clears throat> so now restore to the man his wife. For he's a prophet, and he will and he will pray for you and you will leave. But if you do not restore her to him, know that you are surely going to die. You and all who are yours, all of you will die. God! We don't know him. For the faithful, he will kill. Did Abraham send God to do this? Did Abraham know he will need anything? For the faithful. If you know how many people God has, one person called me, Mama, you are my witness. Two o'clock yesterday. He said, My husband told me that you appeared to him in your dream, in his dream. He has not been able to rest. Do you know how many people God will, will wear your image to threaten? Be faithful. Be faithful. I want to send it to you as a weapon tonight. Be faithful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not just mumu. You are not a mumu by being yes, faithful. Yes, sir. Yes. Bishop, yes. Bishop, Bishop. Be faithful. Yes, sir. Do it to God. Yes, sir. Yes. Be faithful. Yes, sir. Where you cannot help yourself, God will help you. Yes, yes sir. Amen. How do you want to help a king? How do you want to approach a king? How do you want to explain to him that? Sorry, I made a mistake. It's only after How do you want to do that? Sarah got mafia. She was oh no, there's something yes. And God knew that there was no other way could it have happened. But that this guy would have he said, I'm the one that stopped you from sleeping with her. If I want KJV, if you give me KJV, KJV said, That's why I've not killed you. Try KJV, I think I'm correct. I've read it before. He said, No, no go back to the next verse, the previous verse. I'm going to say unto him immediately. Yeah, I know that thou this in this detail. For also I withheld thee from sin against thee. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. There's one translation I read that said, That's why I have not killed you. I, I know what I'm saying. Eh? It's one of those translations. But are you guys getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. sir, what I'm trying to sell to you tonight is the spirit of victory through faithfulness. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. Nobody will see you. Be faithful. I'm not talking about be holy. Now be faithful, yeah. be dependable. Yes, now you should be holy, but now I'm not talking about holiness, I'm talking about faithful. Take your church meetings seriously. Yes, Take your God seriously. Let us say it here. Yeah. God will understand. You don't understand anything. Yes, sir. Be faithful. Your tithes, be faithful. God sees me. And you know, at some point when they ask me, What do you do? I don't know what to say. Mm-hmm. My children get to school, they say, What does your dad do? Things, but he said, what else of this girl? He must be doing something else. I can't go see. I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. I, I can't see because I'm walking and making it. It's not true. It's not true. Be faithful. Be faithful. You will not be able to explain it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. sir. No, be faithfulness and be grumbling, no. <laughs> eh. Hey. 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 The other day when I was um, upset about offering, I don't know if some of you remember that time I was saying about offering. Just come and look at me and say, What? I've never seen you talk like this in this list. And she's here. We've been together for years. Never. It's not an issue for me. It's not the offering I'm meeting. It's not the offering I'm meeting. Be faithful. Are you listening to what yes. yeah. It's not for pastors. You say, Yeah, you see, it's actually the pastor. What else should you do? Be faithful, my friend! Yes, sir. Be faithful. Don't give excuses for your unfaithfulness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be faithful. Yes, sir. It's God's money. Don't eat it. Send it. Send it. Nobody will see you. He's one I gave you. He's watching you. I'm not monitoring you. I've had that comment with you. Hey, you know, no, no, no. If you don't give it, nobody will die. But hmm. we notice that these are not working the way they should work. Because that's why you hear me say the blessings, blessedness of the faithful, hmm. the reward of the faithful. He doesn't miss it. Oh. Abraham lied though. He said, she's my sister. They took him. He said, you are a dead man. Ha! Tell the truth. He said, because I was, that's 
else I'm going to, I would have killed you. He said, now what you now? See, he told him, what you now do is like, you go and meet him. Give him back his wife. You pray for me. <laughs> Do you see how God is defending the kingdom? Some of us, we are, we are just not able to put. You say, look up, look up. Let me close with this. Anxiety is one of the reasons why people misbehave. Anxiety. Anxiety. Don't let anxiety make you unfaithful. Calm down. God can take care of you better than you can take care of yourself. Yes, Believe me. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know how people sometimes, they still want to do what that thing they want to do. And they want to prove that, okay, whether what he's saying is true or not, I will do what is in my heart. Look, don't be a foolish person. You hear me? Some people learn from other people's mistakes. Some people learn from their own mistakes. The wise learn from others. You don't have to make the suffering the proof. You hear? Yes, sir. Be faithful. Be faithful. What I say should be? Be faithful. Make it a personal decision. Yes, sir. Otherwise, you will find yourself pursuing things that will make you unfaithful and you will never touch it. Mm. Have sacred compartments. Don't touch. Mm. So you were around that day that when God was talking about money, that I said, don't ever mention money in this church. You think I have all the money. I don't have all the money. But in this house, money is not an issue for yes, discussion sir. anyhow. Yes, sir. It's not. Is it because we have all the money? We don't. So if you want to hear, we are not ashamed to say we don't. But we have all the God. 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 Look, if you go for gold, you will miss God. If you go for God, you will get gold. We win both. Some of us faithfulness, your heart is not stable. Just as you go back, we are in Proverbs 10, Proverbs 11, Proverbs 12, Proverbs 13. We were talking about faithfulness and righteousness throughout. Very important attributes. Before you now come and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, even the unfaithful has can't pray faithful prayer. Please. You can't. Mm. The unfaithful heart is unstable. It's not balanced. But a faithful man knows that he's asking God for something. Father, thank you. I receive. Ah, yes. You can ask that prayer. So be faithful. Yes, sir. Sir, I'm sir. teaching you victory through faith sir. and faithfulness. I've spoken about the place of faith. Which comes by the word over systems. Am I talking yes, yes, talking now about faithfulness as an attribute? I'm not talking about uh, I'm not talking about no, 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 behavior. No, no, no. I'm saying from your heart. From your heart. For example, one of the things I decided at starting point, I started with I will no longer exaggerate. You know where I was going to? I cannot lie again. Anything that is not proportionate to the truth, I will not say. That's very important to me. It's an attempt to scale up my faithfulness. So I will not lie to you again. So if Mama asks me something, I will tell her exactly how it is. Even if it's not sweet, I will mm. say it. Do, do, do you understand what I'm trying to yes. say? It's a deliberate attempt to question character. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because if you're not exaggerating, lie to you. Lie to you. Lie to you. What am I lying like for? For what? Who is it? And this is that stage. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's nothing to lie. I would rather tell you. I would rather lose you than be confusing my destiny. Go, be going. It's not that hard. Do you get? What are those sacraments? How do you play with God's money? Do you even know God's money? Do you even believe God's money? Do you believe God's money? But because you did well in the time. Uh, you that when you were protesting God for that job, you were making oaths to God. Father, you can just give me job. As a gift job, you forgot you ever promised me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, the contract. Sir. The contract. Oh, you see, you supply us 6 billion, you need to go to the 6 billion. And Lord, then you say, God, our church does not need up to 6 billion. They can do it. 60,000. Mm. God, God sees them. They can do it. Like I said, this is what we should be for life. Yeah. What's wrong with us buying up a table please? What's wrong with us growing large and having capacity for more? You think this is all we want to be? And we have capacity to be more. Yes, 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 sir. But faithfulness, when the time comes, you will forget. You will have forgotten that you will promise God anything. I don't know people that promise and say, I'll give you something. As you are leaving you, they forgot they told you that. Mm-hmm. When you tell them, you promise, hey, yeah, I promise you. Me, me, when I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. 
<laughs> See, that's what I meant too. That's what I meant. Let me show you one scripture. Final characteristic of a faithful man. Can we just quickly look at it? Yes, sir. I hope you don't agree with me tonight. I know, sir. Proverbs 24. Uh, Psalms 24, sorry. Psalms 24. Let's take a look at it. Psalms 24. Psalm 24. Or Psalm, yeah. In the Psalm of David, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell in it. And let's read on. For your family. It's so hard to read. Verse 3. Ah. Shall to the of the Lord. Listen, listen, listen. The who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? The Lord has hills. There are levels you can climb into the Lord. That is from the hill you are coming from a valley. Who will grow from valley to the next hill? The next level of which? Who is that person that can go up from that valley is to the next level of life? See what it says. What? What did he say? Oh, oh, who shall stand in the whole Huh? He that has a clean hand and a pure heart. Say clean hands and pure heart. Clean hands and pure heart. Pure heart. Clean hands. He said, What? Look at what next. Who has not lifted his soul to vanity? He is not connecting his soul to, to vanity. This, the insanity of vanity has not affected him. Hmm. Are you seeing it? Yes, sir. Is it what or what? No sword. I swear. I, I swear. No, no, no. Stop this things. Stop it. Stop it. Hallelujah. Praise Come God. Come with me. That man shall receive the blessings of the Lord. Are you seeing it again? He said, and what? And righteousness from the God of his salvation. That righteousness means the gift of God is nature. This is the generation of them that seek him. That seek thy face. Is this the end of it, man? No, sir. No, no, sir. I, 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 I suspected. So there, there's a comparative of it in chapter 15. Let's look at it. Comparative Psalm 15, chapter 15. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Psalm 15. Just that. So it's this comparative, almost exactly the same. See what it says. A Psalm of David, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Or who shall dwell in the holy hill, in thy holy hill? Let's read on. He that walketh uprightly and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. Wait. Speaketh the truth where? In his, his heart. heart. Can you speak truth in your heart? Truth in your heart. I know this is wrong. I know this is right. Don't suppress it. Don't use fear to clean it. Don't use are we playing? Cover it. the truth in your heart. See what he says. He says, Brother, he that backbited not with his tongue. Don't say things about people carelessly. Yeah, I don't do it like that. And I just don't like that. Don't do that. Are you listening? Yes, sir. See what he says. No, you went to his name. No, no take it up a reproach against his name. He concerned about social justice. The conversation of being careful how you talk or taking up a strike against someone else. See what it says. In whose eyes a vile person is, he doesn't have pleasure in a vile person. This is the character of influence. I will make this some sense. Yes, sir. But honor them that fear the Lord. Now, this is the verse for that. He that sweareth to his own heart and changeth not. Ah. Do you know what that means? Yes. He made a vow. It was going to hurt him, but he did not change it. Mm. Uh, because you don't, you don't change because it's convenient. And we go deficit. I'm not sure the because one is practical. One now comes. Let me say, you have to leave. I'm just going to say, I don't understand. You kill something inside your spirit when you do that. Mm. Trust me. Something dies in you when you do that. Something like that happened to me recently. They said I should do something. And then I said I was going to do it. And when I did, I wanted to start to change. I said, don't do that. Just this last week or two weeks. I said, don't do that. I said, don't do that. Just do what you said. 
Yeah, I think it's interesting. I think it's mama's mom. I went to pay her so much. She's going to go back break. And I said, I was going to pay you. So the money came. But that's the young place. It's that way. I said, no. That's my wife. That I could have just said, they just relax. I was here when I said the money to Keep your word. You make commitments. They don't mean something. Like you forgot it. I'm telling you the truth. It was so convenient to say to you. I said, no, and that's her money, not our money. Because we have our money in our family. And we have the money. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I brought you some persons. She's here. I'm not, I'm not saying something that maybe she's in Paris. She's here. It was convenient for me to say, ah, baby, can I I told her I would send the money to you. And I like to be respected as a husband. I like to be respected as a husband. It matters. If I told her she would not kill me, if I told her give me back, she would kill me. Then I said, no, I promised that she would do it. 122,000. 2, what left was left in my account was 4,000. I said, I would do it. And I did it. It's easy to change when things are changing. Or when things are, uh, are here. Keep your word. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Keep your word. Keep try. So the one I don't like. It's when somebody doesn't keep it up and he's not even trying to do it. I don't know if you get my point. Yes. Uh, keep your word. When I tell you I'm not angry, stop suspecting if I'm angry because I didn't greet you. <laughs> Just take me. If I talk to you, if I want to tell you otherwise, I will tell you. Are you listening to us? Yes, I think it helps everybody be safe and know that if yes. there's any problem, yes, you know that you will be spoken to. Yeah. Not that I'm saying, ah, we don't know what is. Bishop Sado is a little is a little running gun, only be, you know, okay, relax. We're in church. Are you yes. hearing what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. We should be able to walk with some level of trust because faithful people are in church. Yes, sir. So I'll stop here for today. It says, He that wears those things shall never be moved. Shall never be moved. He put it not out his money to use it, not take every word against the innocent. He that wears these things shall never be moved. You shall never be moved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope with these few points I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that you can have victory through faith and faithfulness. Somebody say glory. Glory. I'll take two questions. Take communion. Is that okay? Question number one. Question number two. Let's see you. Question number two. Any question? Question, question. We have question one. Any question? Okay, no, no, that question. Please, not the one we finish. You say, I have question. Using floor separate. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, sir. So, uh, when you mentioned that um, faith, faith is what you use to get what you want at that instant time. Yes. I related it to um, getting what you want chronologically, which is the Kairos books. Okay. So I noticed that even Abraham, while he was faithful, he really wanted a child. Yes. But I'm drawing a connection there by is it by delighting in God that we can stay faithful and not and we'll still get more than what we want. Because Abraham never prayed to God that God should make him father of many nations. He just wanted probably maybe a child if he has had desires. It was God through his faithfulness that promised him that. So my question is, as Christians, I hope if the analogy is not correct, I know you have me correct it. Okay. But my question is, as Christians, how do we keep what we want to get through faith in mind while still being faithful? Very easy now. Very easy. Give me an example of something you have in mind. Okay. Take for instance, I want a son. Okay. But I've not gotten a son. Yes. And I'm praying for one. Yes. How do I stay faithful while waiting for that son? For How do you stay God? faithful? Yes, sir. While waiting for the son. And there are many ways now. So for example, you are faithful to your wife. If you are married, you are not married yet, but I'm saying yeah, you are faithful to your wife, your spouse. That doesn't interrupt your faith. In fact, your faithfulness aids your faith. It should now. Yes, now if I'm trusting God for something, and I'm misbehaving here. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. I'm trusting God for something and I'm misbehaving. 
How do you want this? You are, you are contradicting your yes, expectation yes, now. Sir. Hey, I'm trusting God for something. I'm abusing my wife. I'm beating my wife. How do you want that? How do you want that to work? So, faithfulness aids faith to have a foothold to to make sense. I don't know if that I, I I really don't see a complex question in your question. I'm just saying that faithfulness, just being faithful, trusting God, doing the things you should do, does not contradict your faith. They have, they work together, consanguineously. Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't think they are opposing or exclusive. They actually should aid each other. Because at a point, yes, okay. Abraham tried to help himself. No, I'll tell you what happened. The wife gave, just like Adam, the wife of Fat Sarah. Hagar, the maid. Hagar, the Hagar. It was not that Abraham tried to help himself. And it is responsible for a man to. And God never told Abraham, don't do, don't do. Do you understand? Uh-huh. So, in the journey of faith, you follow the flow. You follow the flow of God's Spirit lead you. If there's any restraint, so for example, I've told you before, if you want to travel and you pray about travel and nothing restrains you from travel, I listen to what I'm saying. Don't travel with fear again. God will tell you not to go. Uh Not the one that you say, I have not no idea. If something is telling you and you're not clear, seek counsel with your pastor or your leader. But God will tell you, so you want to ask this lady out. The lady is not, I mean, you are not having any restraint. God cautions us in case where we should not go and gives us the liberty to go anywhere we should go. As a father, when you see your child playing in the field, you don't keep telling the child, go like this when you're playing. No. Go like this. No. It's where you should not go. You tell him, don't go there. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So God is not looking for where you're going I say, is that where you should go? Is that no. Play this whole field. Uh-huh. Play this whole field. But where you should not go, he will tell you, stop, don't go there. Uh-huh. Like the garden of Eden. This is the only tree. Don't eat. But he said, chop as much as you want to chop. That is the spirit of liberty in God. It doesn't tell you, don't go here, don't go here. No, that's what's not monitoring your your face, your face your can move any direction. But the one he doesn't want you to do, he will tell you, don't. So God is a God that applies caution to the, the, the errors of our lives and says, don't go that far. Uh, but there's no place of that chop life. Mm-hmm. So your faith is at liberty to pick anything you want to pick. Do you get what I'm saying? You are at liberty to pick anything, anyhow you want to pick it. But where he doesn't want you to go, he will tell you, God, don't do that one. Don't do that one. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so. Thanks, sir. Did I ask a question? Yes. Uh, no more questions, man. Jesus said. I hope you've been blessed. Yes, yes, sir. Let yes. me ask, what have you learned today? So that we won't just leave and say, as best as best. What did you really learn? What's your learning? Yeah. Anybody? This last one. This last one. Yes. I just want to, because um, there's been this topic, I, myself and uh, Dr. Dr. Mouth for a while, concerning when people say, if you don't go to, if you, God does not say, you should, God does not say you should go to a place, don't go there. Then you, there, there's, it, there was a time in 2021 that you said something like, um, yeah, there was, there's a way you put it that. What, I, what it means is that, yeah, either you so there's no they should, they should not should not apply fear into the actions that you want to see. That's right. Because it means that if like what you now said now that if God doesn't want you to go there, yes. there will be serious cost. cost he will caution you. So yes. people usually say things like um, uh, if God is not leading you to go to a place, don't go there. Okay, you will be lost. God does not. He's not going to provide for. Oh, that if he doesn't want you to go, he will restrain you. Yes. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's how some people say, I'm waiting for the Lord to leave. God is waiting for you to move. <laughs> a lot of people just, I don't know. Yes, I, I, yes. I, don't, I don't want to sound absolute, but a lot of people just mix up this whole thing. It's too clear. See how God of there was now. Mm. God, gives, God gives liberty. Where he doesn't want you to go, he puts his caution. Yes, mm. He has a right to tell you, don't do that one, don't do that one. And uh, it's okay. Look at the apostles. Acts 15. He said, we have decided that we should put no more burden on you. Concerning circumcision or no circumcision, that these four things abstain from flesh, abstain from sexual immorality, abstain from these. There are four things in Acts 15 there. That you know, Jerusalem church, you start reading it up. Four things. He will tell you, don't do this. And it will be clear. Not that he will tell you, well, should I sit down? Sit down. 
Should I go to Cameroon? Don't go to Cameroon. That's not how it works. When you pray, you look for the signals where he says don't. Should I marry Romoke? No. Or Jumoke? Or Toke? Or Folake? You will get a repressing caution. Hold on. You will have an unsettled peace. Sometimes when you are praying over four names, one name floats. That name, you should watch out for it. It could not be for caution or for direction. You get what I'm trying to say? God is a God of direction. He's, he wants to help you. So then he sent a helper. Please, it's not a, don't, don't make God give God a bad name. It's not true. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Quickly. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I looked the conversation around faithfulness where you said, you quoted this verse in the said, a faithful man shall abound with blessings. Yes. yes. So that makes me see that faithfulness is one of God's strategies, one of God's wisdom for maintaining wealth. Yes. And you also spoke about how yes. If you can be trustworthy, if you can be faithful, even in the things of God, even at work, that that actually even, that actually enlightened my mind to to the current state that I'm in right now. It spoke to me directly, sir. Okay. Also, I like I like I like the other side of faithfulness that you said, where you can be faithful and it is God's prerogative that He will use to bless you with yes. certain things. Yes. Where 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 you don't even know. I've asked, and we had this. You told me this the very first time I came around. Yeah. That when you're watching, you may not even be where God will bless you. Back. Yes, yes, very likely. So, you might, we are we'll planting here, but where God is certainly somewhere else, somewhere else. Faithfulness is God's prerogative to judge where He wants to set to you. You can't control that. But if you are going through life in a way you don't like, you can lay claims on your faithfulness that He should bless you in that regard. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Hezekiah was faithful to God. He said he will die. He said, Lord, extend my life. God weighed his faithfulness. It weighed 15 years extra. Your faithfulness has account. So make no mistake. So that you don't just say, Lord, it is your mm -hmm. You can say, Lord, my life is going in a way I don't like. I want it to settle. I have been faithful in your house. Yes, I will answer you. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So nobody is faithful for nothing. Mm. Uh -huh. There's a reward. You might not want to tell God because eventually what God might give you might be bigger than what you're asking for. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. So don't go and negotiate yourself on the foot. Mm -hmm. In that sense. Yes, and I mean it. All right? Because if it's a guy who just said, Lord, just give me two years extra, he would not have known his faithfulness wait 15. Mm. Mm. So he never told God what to do. God would and say, go and send the same prophet, go back and tell him. 15 years. We have checked it in heaven. We have checked. It's not this Bible. Isaiah 38. We have checked it in heaven. Your life, you reach 15 years, your record, your invest, your pension can cover you. So I also like what you said about cosmos. Cosmos, yes. How you, how you drove our attention to actually go back home to learn, you know, understanding this world of men. Yes. Understanding the health system. Yes. You know, I like also what you said how um the devil can sponsor certain openings. Yes. You may, you may not be the one involved. Yes. But it, it can lead you to be in a situation where you don't have light in your house. Now. Correct. You have to you have to drink bad water. Yes. Now you're not forced. God bless. It. What's in London? Yeah, exactly. What's in London? Yeah. So right. I, I, I like I like I like that. You need to watch those things. You just think that taking light, they just took light. It's not just taking light. It's not just taking lights. The consequence of the light they took can be more fatal than you imagine. Yes. So don't just yes. be simple. I'm not saying everything now is devil, low, but be alert. Yes. Hello. Yes. You are doing business. You've forgotten the legal side of what you are doing. Mm. Providing services to customers. You've forgotten the implication of providing services to customers. Yes. Eh? You are teaching in UK. You don't remember you are not in Nigeria. There are things you don't do in Nigeria that you do. You understand? I'm taking a program that I paid money for in hundreds of dollars to be able to learn how to do counseling abroad. I was telling them in the UK church, do you know when you're doing a function that when people come to your function, one of the simple things I learned to that when people come to your function and they write their name down, they've given you permission to contact them without you asking for it. 
They wrote their name. So if they see anything or you have anything or call you or earn anything, we didn't steal your contacts. You rendered it to us voluntarily. That singular write your name down is important. In the business that we do, just that we have application form, registration form, I mean to say, has saved this organization court cases. You just say no, no just bring it, just bring, bring, bring the money, just give me. Don't do like that. The system will kill you. Have a form. Let people register. You say it doesn't matter. I know him. Don't do like that. Write your form, write your name. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. It's wisdom. And that one is not devil. It's that you are foolish. And I tell you, that saved us court cases. Court cases. Documentation. Conversations that you would have just said on phone. Write it in the chat. Send an email. Live conscious that evil can come tomorrow. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, I don't know how you feel, but I always want to exhaust knowledge in you. I'm taking more time. It's not soon you will not see me again like this. Have you? Now that you are seeing me, let me see how I can see you. So that you'll be wiser. Now that I will come back and hear you in court case. God forbid. Yes, sir. Now give God thanks for this knowledge tonight. And ask God to help you with faith. Ask God to help you be faithful. Ask God to help you be faithful. Ask God to help you be faithful. Can you pray like you are not tired? I beg. Ask the Lord to help your faith. Ask the Lord to help your faithfulness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. You know, as a woman, there are some things you are not going to be able to do. Like you are dating someone, like you can't tell him, let's marry now, let's marry. It will work like that. Even the let's marry, my make him just marry you, we look like you are forcing yourself on him. And all the money. Or you are married now, you are doing know how to have a child again. You know, it's not sex that gives children. Yes, sir. So that you know that it's not. But there are things that God can bless you with. As a lady, your faithfulness can help you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. As a lady, be faithful. Be faithful. Be, be that person that can be dependent upon. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes. Because God can bless you more than you can ask yes. for the Yes, sir. I want us to pray one more time. Lord, help my faith. Help my faithfulness. Mm-hmm. So, let's pray. Lord, help my faith. In the name of Jesus. Can we pray the prayer like though we have understanding? Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, the, the spirit of faithfulness is in the blood of Jesus Christ. I listen to what I'm saying, please. There's, there's a, such a thing called the spirit of ever say after me say spirit of faithfulness. Spirit of faithfulness. Please look up at me. Look up, look up. Let me tell you something there. As your pastor, one of the challenges I face is that. You know, I've said it before, that anywhere where there's too much counseling is because there is very low word. Where it's counseling, counseling. By the time I finish preaching to you like this, there are some things that we still, you just be knocking off answers, I mean, knocking off questions in your mind. Tonight, I want you to trust God that this communion will inject intelligence to your spirit. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. That what you don't know what to do, God will show you tonight. Yeah. In a dream, in a vision, by guidance, by instruction, by a book, by something, you will not be stranded. Amen. Can we trust God together for that? I, can we trust God for together for that, please? So, as you are taking the communion tonight, I want you to trust God for liberty, for fresh movements of your spirit, for protection, for blessings. Are you there? Let's go ahead and take the communion tonight. God bless you. Amen. Amen. 
et que la main de de mon cochon crée des piques sur la hana agent d'adou d'abéro côté qui radose c'est pour être tout ce qui n'a d'abarande d'eau bégaza et pour ce que les beaux gens d'après les beaux sara pour ce qui n'y va à la dodo trono de bégaré pour bégé de pour pour Sagrado do breke bo pra papa to te pere bo su se ke de matanda. Can you let us pray together and trust God for some miracles tonight? The miracle of the communion. The miracle of the flesh and of the blood of Jesus Christ. Can we take it like though we have understanding that we are not alone? Zaka di gada go de gede bo bro go de bola. Indro de ke supra da tobra ke de babriga de bo shali batadia. Can we pray like though we have understanding tonight? Hallelujah. Misa grebe be ke du braga da 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 bos. Hey tota gata taba gatu seteliara. Spirit of God, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Years ago, Bishop Edipo shared a testimony that I've not recovered from, and I'm not sure I've said it before. He said one time like that, he took the communion, and that that day, the, the quality of his intelligence jumped up. I know it's possible. It has happened to me too. I used to be that person that couldn't come first. And later I knew that something had come on. From today, your mind begins to work and function Amen. with excellence in the name of Jesus. You know, there are sometimes you listen to other people's thoughts and you say, ah, how you they think? Mm. From today, people will wonder about how you think. Amen. There is something called the intelligence of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Ah, put your hand on your head. Yes, I impart it upon you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of God says in Isaiah 12 verse 3, it says, and I shall make you a quick understanding. Yes, sir. I demand tonight that your understanding is quick. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. You begin to understand things before you need to say them. Hey, hey. There's such a thing called the speed of thoughts. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Ah, receive the intelligence and the speed of quality thoughts in the name hey. of Jesus. Hey. Hey. I pray that your mind is expanded. Hey. 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 Once you have been reading and you don't understand for today, from tonight, you will read and understand. Before people ask you questions, the wisdom that cannot be gainsaid is granted to you in the name of Jesus. Your mouth will carry powerful words. The Bible says how forcible are right words. From tonight, your words will be right. From tonight, your words will be forcible. Of Jesus, Amen. I pray that from tonight the quality of your thinking will be fast, Amen. the quality of your thoughts will be clear. Amen. You will know what to do. Amen. The system will not outwit you, Amen. the devils will not outwit you. Amen. You will be robust in stamina, Amen. you will be robust in strength. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I reposition you to the top. Everything you do, confess in the name of Jesus. Where others are failing, I release you into success. Where others are stranded, I declare a pillar plan for you. Money will not strangulate your ideas. Favor will follow you. What you lack in any dimension, Last the attention of your assignment will compensate, will compensate for you in the name of God. Yeah. Yeah. I pray that from tonight, you will no longer need to speak explanations. Yeah. Your results will announce your arrival. Yeah. Start to handle big things. Yeah. Start to grow to new levels. Yeah. Have clarity of thought. Yeah. Top of 
is your Amen. And you will be favored accordingly. Amen. When you are interviewed, you will be granted that job. Amen. When you are interviewed, you will be granted that contract. Amen. There is such a thing called the spirit of preference. Yes. I minister it upon everybody here now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing will die in your heart. Amen. Your health will not fail you. Amen. Your God will not fail you. Amen. Your angels will not lose battle. Amen. I distinguish you from tonight. Amen. That no cutlass, axe, Amen. scissors, Amen. knife, Amen. dagger, Amen. bullet will penetrate your body. Our midweek services, eh? I have a lot to say to you people. I can't even lie. A lot. A lot. You know, sometimes I used to think that I hope I'm not, I was not over pre prepared for some things. You know, what I've studied there, I've not shared here. You understand? Because I want you to trust God. One thing I want you to know about this whole thing is that you can live a faithful life on this earth and, so to speak, not have our, our affluence. You know, God is not going to give you what will distract you from Him. You understand? Yes, sir. So you want to learn how to manage. But you show capacity to break the power of greed when you are a giver. Mm -hmm. One of the things generosity does is that it makes you lose the, the, the attachment to that thing. I don't yes, know if you get what I'm trying to say. So generosity always helps. It always helps. It always helps. I want to remind you that if you have anything in your life, God is likely going to be part of the reasons why you have that in your life. So, uh, more than I was just giving tonight, I want us to be of a disposition of a generous spirit. Yes, Don't ever think any amount is too big for this church yes, or for the God you serve. You're not giving it to man. It doesn't go to my account. You have a personal discipline. Me and God. Yes, hey, this is not the best you can build. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So that you don't think, ah, what, am I gonna, what, what if you get bigger than this? The one who hear it again with that. So we stay humble by making sure greed and avarice does not capture us. Let me show you one scripture and then we close. Luke 12. Luke 12. Find it for me. It's the parable of the um, young rich ruler. Luke 12. Just close. So if you have your tithes, if you are giving the tithes today, once again, I want to appreciate those that give towards me. I mean, to bless me with the seed. I am grateful. I receive it with gratitude. And I'm grateful. I'm praying for you personally. Interestingly, I have your names. Yes. And I'm praying for you. I am taking you as a partner personally. It's not your partnership, but I take you as a partner. And I'm praying for you that the Lord will bless you. Amen. Amen. You know, when you make me happy, when I say a lot, I'm happy. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Or when you say that you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, sir? Yeah. It's them that I don't like. But when I say that, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And yes. I woke up in the middle of the night to see that Allah. I was very happy. From my sleep, I was praying. I said, Lord. I sent a message to me. I said, send me the list of those that gave. Like, I'll be, let's say, make sure we're talking about it. I, I don't joke with my people that give me anything for granted. I don't. I take it seriously. You know, because I believe that anybody that can give something is God. Sure, you like yes. so You don't give me money. Yeah. Yeah, we are grateful, though. I can't pretend. And I'm grateful. See what this scripture says. And he's taking a parable unto them. This is a parable. The run of a certain 
rich man. So the trick, the trick in this story is that it was both the parable and the story. The true story. Once you see Satan, Satan changes the game. Once you see scripture it says Satan is no longer a parable. So the writer is Dr. Luke. Luke is a doctor, medical doctor. And he had added some intelligence to his narrative. If you read his stories, they're a little more elaborate. Anyway, let's go on. So he says, is that really brought much for you? Read on, that's things. And he thought, what did he say? He thought within himself, saying, what shall I do? Because I have no room where to restore my fruits. I have plenty of stuff. Instead of thinking of giving, he said, and he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns. I build greater, that's making larger, to capacity. And then will I restore all my fruits and my goods so that things are stored properly, you know? Verse next, please. And I will say unto my soul, so thou hast much goods laid up. You have plenty of savings now for many years. He said, Take that ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Nothing will do you again. See the next verse. Now then, God said unto me. God did. So wait first. God was watching. Mm. Does not bother you? God was watching the, the foolishness of his thoughts. I said, Thou fool. Not tomorrow. This night, that your sword, we shall need it. <laughs> See now, shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be? So what did God want him to do, which thou hast provided? What is he trying to say? You must learn to break the power of greed by generosity. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Let me just say this to it. Additionally, let me say this, and you can question it. It's not there, but it's true. You can cut short your life by the amount of things you store mm. against generosity. Mm. Look at it, isn't that fool? Tonight we need your life. So it is he that lays up treasure for himself. And he's not rich toward God. Why couldn't he give people? When that other guy met Jesus, said, Go and sell to people and follow me. The guy, the Bible says, and a, a sad coldness, terrible down, down depression came on him. So you need to be generous towards God. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, so that you don't get confused. It's important to be wealthy. But you must have equal velocity in generosity. You must. Make sure you don't let it. It's a trick. As you are gathering to be sweet. Oh, I have 500k now. 500k. It has entered 1 million. 1 million is sweet. 1 million. It's now 2.2 million. It's now 2.2. It's almost 2.3. If you cannot conquer it, I'm telling you the truth. You have to rise. Sometimes you put it away. Sometimes you just suppress your mind from it. Sometimes you just take it and send it as a seed. True, I'm not yes, going sir. to lie to you. Yes, so that we don't suppose we're preaching nice, nice things and people are broke, broke, broke with people. And because God doesn't reward you with money directly, it's your behavior, you see. Right. So let's give out. Anybody casting his sights tonight? Be generous. Huh? Anybody? Online, on site? Anybody casting his sights? God bless you. God bless you. Any other person? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We ask that Lord, their generosity tonight is acknowledged and received. We ask for the Spirit of God that you will bless them according to the give them the testimony of the faithful. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you for taking your seat. Let's all give our offerings. If you are using a phone or a stock, be generous. Be generous. Be generous. I repeat, it's not because we are in need. I want to raise a generous church. This church has a lot to do. With generosity, we can do some more. I listen to what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Because sometimes you need to us that say it hard. It's not that difficult. All right, let's pray about our friends. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give. We call every giver here today blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for those that have given, you know, open their bright ideas and Amen. cause them to experience reality in this Amen. life. Amen. Give them space that the ideas will find space in reality. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So you heard my prayer that yes. God will make your ideas find reality. Amen. Sometimes Amen. God will bless you with ideas. Those ideas must find space to happen. Opportunity to prosper. Yes, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Ah, I want to do this one. I want to do it. You must find opportunity for that idea to happen. All right, it looks like I've been taking too much time in this couple of days. Please just forgive me. Eh? I will return back to my time. But I have a lot of things to share with you. Okay? Okay? Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. You just enjoy. Just enjoy me. I promise I will return to my time. I really have too many things to say to you guys. I used to feel like no time, no reach. Maybe we should start earlier services now from 6 30. Eh? We can adjust, right? Yes. I used to wonder what Pastor Chris used to teach his people those years. That they will be finishing 9 o'clock. I used to think, what is going on? 
But anywhere where the word is rich, you will notice that time looks slower. I'll be faster than you. All right, so let's um, rise to our feet and close this. Area. Any first timer? You guys bring first timers. Let me see first timers here. Let's bring our friends. Let's bring our friends. I like that. You are not wearing jackets. You don't like jackets. Always wear jackets. It's good. Except you're wearing our brand like Dicky. Okay. Or like Victor on Sunday. Eh? That's our brand. Let's say grace of peace. Grace, grace of peace was granted to us through the knowledge of God our Father and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Say to your neighbor, grace and peace, please. Grace and peace be granted to you. Set upon your life personally, please. Give us a peace and God's prayer unto me. To the knowledge of God, my Father, and of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Till I see you next time by the grace of God. Till then, please. Remain God's pride. I want to thank you for being patient with me. Trust me, we'll come back to our time. Yes, sir. God bless you. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.